first week of travelling. Um, so we flew, flew to Dubai last week and I think every flight from now on is going to be a massive disappointment. How good was the flight? The flight was amazing. They uh, had the biggest, comfiest pillows ever. Um, they had great entertainment, watching great films. They had snacks the whole flight. And they had the best food, so they cooked a roast beef dinner. And they had fruit salad for dessert. And sausage rolls just before landing. Loads of them. And loads of them. Best yeah. whatever. I love you, Quantum. <laughs> yeah, so we stayed with my cousin Helen in Dubai, so thanks to Helen, uh, Jay, Toby, Maddie, and of course Ripple for being such great hosts. Um, we spent two days in Dubai where we went across the Gulf. Uh, it's a good couple of days out. And then we got a bus down here to Oman. Um, the bus was like six hours. Uh, yeah, the bus stops uh, three times at the Omani border, you get an exit stamp, then you unload all your bags so the a sniffer dog can come around and sniff them all. And then after that you then have to queue up and get an entry stamp to Oman. And there's like a couple of miles between each stop, so I'm not really sure what country we're in at that point. But, uh, yeah, eventually made it then to, to Muscat and then we've, uh, we hired a 4x4 to, uh, to go and explore the mountains and then we've got to come down to the beach. Uh, the plan was to sleep in the back for three days to save a bit of money. Um, yeah, we had a run out to the mountains, had a good hike around um, there. And uh, now we've come down to the beach, and you've probably noticed we're not staying in the back of a car right now. I'll let Susie explain why. Because... <laughs> Who wants to sleep in the back of a car? <laughs> it, it was really hot when we got down here, and we went down to the beach, and we were going to melt, and we were all sweaty and dirty, and we'd been camping, and had barely any sleep, so... I just called the hotel and asked them for a room, and they had a room available. So, we're in a nice hotel. Yeah, so, yeah, basically there's only one hotel in the area, and it happens to be really nice, so... Uh, we're enjoying a bit of yeah, tomorrow morning, we're getting up, but... Half seven to do a Spartan race, it's an eight mile obstacle course race, and then the uh, next day we're flying off to Abu Dhabi and then back to Dubai after that. So we'll uh, see you again next week. This is our hotel that we're staying in for the next three nights. Uh, it's in a great location, close to uh, local transport links, and also uh, we found out a lot closer than we thought to the local mosque, which like to pray very loudly at five in the morning. Um, but the great thing about this hotel is that if you don't like the location, you can pretty much take it wherever you want to. Uh, tonight we're gonna take it to the top of the mountain, and then tomorrow down to the beach. Um, so let's, uh, we actually got an upgrade on our hotel room, so this is the honeymoon suite. Um, if you look around the back here, we can enter through the patio door, which leads straight onto the master bedroom. There's Susie in the master bedroom, which also doubles up as the dining room and the living room. And anything else that you need, you can see it's an open plan, open plan room. And in the front here on the right, you have the kitchen. And then on the left, you have the wardrobe, which also doubles up as the driving seat. Um, you might be thinking it's a bit cramped in here, um, but the bathroom is absolutely huge. See, it's huge, but the facilities aren't great because they're, they're Anon. Um, for entertainment, the, the hotel doesn't have any Wi-Fi. Uh, but if you get bored, you can watch Sky. It's not Sky Sports, literally you just have to watch the Sky.
Well, well, well.